I'm Ed Smith and I've just written a book for Bloomsbury called Luck, What It Means and Why It Matters. I think the first thing to say is I never used to believe in luck at all. Uh, when I started out as a professional cricketer when I was 18, 19, I thought luck was a sign of weakness. Believing in luck was a sign of weakness. I thought that if you had talent and you had resilience and you had determination, that was all you needed in life. It's quite a harsh philosophy, if you like, not believing in luck at all. But I've realised now that all the big things that happened to me, not just as a sportsman, but as a human being, were actually luck. We'll look at the turning points where uh, I broke my ankle, which ended my cricket career when I was 31. Uh, a decision went against me at a crucial moment in my international career for England. That sounds like bad luck, but much more importantly, I met my wife on a train and I ended up, obviously, <laughs> we got married four years later, having met completely by chance. Those incidents became the prompts for me asking a much broader question, which is, when you think about your own life, you've realised how many crucial turning points were complete chance, complete luck. There's a much bigger question, which is that from a broader perspective, your genes are a matter of luck. No one gets to choose their own genetic inheritance. Your education is nearly always a matter of complete luck. Very few young kids get to decide where they go to school. Obviously, your parents are a a matter of complete luck to you which family you're, you're born into. So although the modern world tends to celebrate our own control over everything, uh, the self-help industry likes to make us feel we're in control of everything we do, but in actual fact if you take a step back and you look at any human life, a huge amount of the important uh, shaping forces on any single life are actually a matter of complete luck to the person themselves. I didn't choose my genes, I didn't choose my school, I didn't choose my parents. Those things were all a matter of luck. And this book explores the way in which life is shaped by luck. We like to believe that the world we live in is very meritocratic. It's a consoling idea. So people who've actually succeeded tend to say, I did it all through hard work. And you read celebrity autobiographies and it's often, I worked hard, I, I tried, I endeavoured. Yes. But other people probably did as well that maybe didn't get the breaks. And I think that uh, Kerry Packer, the Australian tycoon, had a great line about luck when he said, if you meet someone who doesn't believe in luck, you just met a complete jerk. And I think that, I mean, Napoleon said it brilliantly, give me lucky generals. I think people who've been really successful, if you actually get them to be honest about their story, they'll say, you know, I had a massive amount of luck as well as everything else. So I think my attitude to luck is always changing. I don't think it's all luck, but I do think we underestimate the amount of luck in life. Do I, do I miss playing cricket? Uh, not really. I think I'd miss terribly uh, the ability to demonstrate self-expression, to do something I love. But I was very lucky in that playing sport was one thing for me, and it was a way for me to be me, if you like. But I think writing, if anything, is an even fuller expression. And I feel like I'm using more of my personality now as a writer than I did when I was a cricketer. I love playing cricket. The highs you get are very high. Scoring 100 and raising your bat feels great. But now as a writer, I think you get a deeper sense of satisfaction. And it's also something that the clock isn't ticking. Um, in sport, you're always running out of time. Uh, in writing, you always feel that any experience, anything that you really feel, anything that makes an impression on you, will come out in your writing at some point, and maybe 10, 20 years down the line. But no real human experience is ever wasted, and you know, even unhappiness or, or problems, they'll all come out in some way in your written word.